Hello everyone, in today's video we will be seeing two different sight word games and in case if you're new to sight words or if you don't know what exactly sight words are, they are basically uh, words in phonics uh, on which these phonics rules do not apply. Sounds ka funda on pe chalta nahi hai. To isi liye, the child has to learn them by heart. And sometimes, or maybe I would say a lot of times, when we make our child to just read and write those sight words and they are filling pages just to learn the spelling of the sight words and the pronunciation, it becomes very boring. And that's the reason why in between it is also important that we play a few games to keep that excitement along. So in today's video, we will be seeing two such games. In previous videos, I've also made few activities again around the sight words. I will be putting the link somewhere on the screen here. Please do check out. In case if you are new to my channel, this is Lavina and I post a lot of activities that I do with my little one. The main aim of the channel is basically to make learning playful and fun for our little ones. At least this is what I try the most. It should be exciting, right? As much as we can. Okay. Now come, let's see the two side word games. For the first one, we will be needing a few markers, a paper, scissor, cello tape and three glasses. Take the glasses that are opaque one. Make these three small bits of paper on which you can write the side words. Any three side words which you want to teach your little one. So I am writing the, was and are. We will stick them on the glasses like this and take any small object that will go inside the glass of your child's choice. Small. For here I am taking this pom pom ball and keep it in one of the, under one of the glasses or inside one of the glasses and then let's play. So it's the easiest game. You got it. After shuffling, ask your little one, where is the ball under which sight word and let them say it is under the or it is inside the class named was. I know you realize that I am shooting it on a different day because my hair is tied up but I have tried to keep the t-shirt same. <laughs> I shoot it this because I really wanted to tell you that when we are playing this game of sight words with the glasses, Every time whenever you try to keep an object under a particular glass, say named as the, your child has already observed that yes, it is under the. So there is a very high possibility that your child will be basically winning this game every time. But at the same time, if they are winning the game every time, it's a good thing because they are observing that you have kept the object under the or under R or inside the glass named as was. Because in this way, they have to actually pay attention. They actually have to pay folk. They actually have to focus on the word. And this helps them to learn in a gameful way, in a playful way. Now for the second game, we will be needing a small piece of paper along with a marker or a sketch pen. And I have taken this from the kitchen. You can even take a scooper, a spatula, anything, whatever you have handy. Um, out of this paper, we'll make two side words. Any of the two. I have already made it for you here. And then the game starts. They have to pat the side word that the teacher, the guardian or the caretaker would be basically saying. So let's take a demo of this. It would be, say example, was, 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 are. Was, are, was, was, oh. <laughs> and this way they can play at the same time. They can also learn these side words. Thank you for watching the video. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe down and even like the video. You can even share it with your family and friends. I will see you in my next video.